Hello everyone, it's Elaine. Thank you for joining me here today on my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be creating a shaker card using lots of Mama Elephant goodies. So let's get started. I'm taking a piece of white heavyweight cardstock here and using the Park Avenue Creative Cut to create a nice frame and inner panel on my card there. I'm just going to work on the inner panel for a moment. Just put that frame to one side. And I'm using the Ocean Waves Trio die set here. And these are gonna help me form my shaker pouches. So I'm using the Little Mermaid and Agenda stamps here. So a very ocean, beachy, happy card for today. So the first die I've used, I'm just putting that towards the bottom of the panel. Run that through my die cut machine. And then I'm just shifting that up about a centimetre. And I'm gonna run it through in exactly the same position, just a little bit higher up. To get some variation, I'm going to use another of the dies in that set. Move that up about two and a half, two centimetres, and then run that through my die cut machine as well. And then shift that up about a centimetre. Secure it down so that it doesn't move. I do want them to run as parallel as possible. And then lastly, taking that third die in the set, I'm going to do my last window panel. So a bit higher up and then just roughly, I just you doing this by eye. I didn't measure everything out. I've got my final piece there. Now I'm going to flip everything over so the right side is facing down onto my mat and I'm going to put everything back a bit like a puzzle and then secure it with some post-it tape. This is because I'm going to be doing some ink blending and if all the pieces are secured together it just makes everything so much easier and will give a nice seamless look. So just popping everything back in. I did use quite a lot of post-it tape here, but I really wanted everything to stay together and not shift about while I'm ink blending. So I've got my Distress inks here today. I'm using a makeup brush. I use lots of makeup brushes in my craft room and I'm just putting the colors on the screen and putting some color on my brush and just tapping the excess off and then taking it to the cardstock. I was really happy with how the colors looked on this card. I don't pre-pan any of my cards. I literally just know which stamp set I want to use generally, like for the main focus. And then I make my card from there. And for today's card, I was really happy with how these colors turned out together. I thought they blended really well and brought the card together nicely. So I did one layer and then I went back in with a second layer just to deepen up the colors and make things a little bit more vibrant. And then to add some texture onto the card, I am smushing each of those ink pads onto my glass mat. I've spritzed on some water there and I'm also taking the nozzle out of my little mini mister and just tapping on some clean, clear water. Let that sit for 20-30 seconds and dab that up with a paper towel. Now just roughly masking off the areas on my card. I'm going in with the coordinating colour. So this is some watered down peacock feathers. Then I'll be going in with the blueprint sketch. Needed to load my brush up with the colour. Didn't want to tap on at first. So get lots of colour and water onto your brush. And then finally going in with this picked raspberry. And now to add a bit more shimmer, I'm using this Cosmic Shimmer Pixie Powder in White Pearl. It's very similar in consistency to Perfect Pearls. I couldn't find my Perfect Pearls, but this worked perfectly and just watered it down and tapped it onto my card panel there. Now I've taken an A2 sized card base here. I'm using that frame, I'm lining it up and then using another piece of post-it tape and I'm going to secure it together and create a sort of hinge. 
Now I'm just going to put that first piece back into the frame. And now I want to layer up and glue my what will be the base of my shaker panel pieces to the card base. So I'm just gluing that one down, then bringing the larger bit in for placement, popping some glue on this next smaller piece and securing that to the card base. Next piece for placement and gluing this final shaker panel or what will be the shaker panel. Just let that sit for a moment while it all adheres and then I can remove those pieces out. So those three pieces in the middle are now stuck directly to my card base. I can lift up that frame using the hinge and now I've brought in a piece of acetate here. Just popping it in. This is slightly smaller than an A2 size. So I'd say four by five and a quarter. I've just secured that down with some post-it tape and then pulled that frame down and I'm also gonna secure that down just to stop things moving about. Popping some glue on this first piece. So this piece is gonna be stuck directly to that acetate. I like this Gina K Connect glue. It does dry nice and quick. I like the precision nozzle and you don't get too much glue coming out at one time. So I feel like you get a really accurate and even application. I'm just working my way down there and I like the fact that things, once they're stuck after 10 seconds or so, they're pretty stuck down. So things aren't gonna slip and slide around on this acetate, which is perfect. Now I'm just removing that post-it tape. I'm pulling up that frame and now I can apply some adhesive to the acetate. And then when I pull that frame back down, that's going to adhere the acetate to that card, that frame that's on top. And just pressing down gently and removing the post-it tape just now flip things over so that I can just gently press the glue and you can see how things are starting to take shape. Now I can remove that frame from the card base and just gently peel off that post-it tape and before I go any further I need to make sure I get a sentiment on the front so I'm using Wishing You an Amazing Day from the Mummy Elephant Picnic with Friends stamp set. I use this sentiment on a lot of cards. I think it's really versatile and I really like the size and the mixed font. So you've probably seen this in quite a few of my cards if you follow me. And I'm popping that card frame into my Mini Misty and I'm using my Versafine Onyx Black ink to stamp that several times onto the front of my card. So I've got some skinny little foam tape strips here. I make these myself. I don't actually make the foam, but I cut them into strips. And I have had a couple of questions about that. So I am gonna do a tutorial or just a short video on how I create those for myself. And I'm gonna be using these little foam strips to create some shaker wells for my card. So removing the release paper will help to bend and shape the foam tape a lot easier. So I've got three of these little wells and I'm making sure I put some foam tape on the ends as well because that's going to keep my sequins from falling out. And I'm just using my embossing buddy here on the inside of those foam strips just to help the sequins from sticking too much. I don't mind a few sequins sticking, but I don't really want all of them sticking to the sides. So that embossing powder really helps to take away some of the stickiness. I've also put some foam tape all around the edge of that frame. And I'm also going to put some foam tape in the other areas. I don't want my card to dip and go flat. So 
just making sure that I don't double up if I'm taping any areas. So putting those card pieces or those bases side by side helps me to work out where I need to put the foam tape. So now I can start filling up my little shaker wells and I'm using some Nouveau confetti in ice white circles to do this and I've got this little spoon. This is from Spellbinders Tool-in-One. I think you can get different tools but this is the tool that mine came with as well as the one with the brush on the end. And it's really handy when you want to use small embellishments. So just popping all of those circles in there and then using my craft knife here to help me put back any confetti that may have got stuck to the foam. And I like to layer up my little shaker wells with another piece of acetate and I will trim that up so that I haven't got excess amounts but just pressing down firmly just to make sure that none of those sequins can fall out. And now I can remove the release paper from the foam tape from both panels and adhere that top piece to that bottom piece. So just make sure everything's lined up nicely before I press down firmly. And now I can move on to my little mermaidens. I've used my silhouette machine to cut these out with my pick scan mat and I do have a separate tutorial on that if that is of interest to you so I'll link that down in the description box below but because I've already cut them out they can and they're quite small it can be quite fiddly so I just grab a piece of cardstock some more of that post-it tape roll wrap it round and then I can stick my little stamps to that while I colour and I'm using my Faber-Castell polychromo pencils today and I'm using some Wins and Newton blending solution and a pencil stump. So I did already swatch out the colours that I wanted to use. I just used that scrap piece of cardstock where I'd tapped off the excess ink off my brush and I just scribbled some colours next to it and picked out the ones that I thought were most appropriate. I'm very lucky that I do have the full set so I did have lots of colours to choose from. But the colours I've used have been listed on the screen. I'll also have all of the products I've used in today's video listed down in the description box. And you can also find them over on my blog, which will be linked and listed down below if you want to check that out. Um, these really didn't take me very long to colour, even though I've sped things up quite considerably. I managed to colour about... 15 of these lovely little mermaids in about half an hour um, really quick and this blending solution really makes things really quick and easy I added some little pink to the cheeks and there you can see these are all of the ones that I've coloured today and I've already gone ahead and placed a few on my cards so I'm using my quick stick tool here and just popping some glue down onto the card to secure those little mermaids down and they are just so adorable. And just working my way down the card, I did decide at this point that I wanted to move a couple around. Um, I had two purple head ones at the bottom so I just grabbed and swapped a couple of them round and then just put some white gel dots on their cheeks. I grabbed my Nuvo Aqua Shimmer Pen to put some shimmer on the hair and their tails. And then I've got this Star Gaze Gel Pen. And I'm just putting some dots all on the card base, but I did decide to then go ahead and put some dots on their hair and their tails. You can't really see until it catches the light but I just thought it was a really nice extra touch. There you go, you can see that there just catches the light as you move the card and you can see all those lovely sequin pieces inside the shaker panels. There's just a closer look at all those little mermaids. And that is my card for today complete. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some inspiration. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.